And finally, listen to this. By now we have all heard the already classic prank where Sal Governale attempts to sell gold teeth taken from Jews in concentration camps. Hey, by the way, that's on the Tradio show? That, that was so great. Yeah. It's this internet radio show where you call in and you can sell anything you want. And people listen to it, I guess. I don't know. Who is the host of Tradio? Have we ever learned his name? I don't know, but the guy was like, hello, welcome to Tradio. Mm-hmm. Well, it's Joe's dog. Well, these guys call Tradio again. This is the second call. Yeah? But it's a different host. Oh. And this guy gets totally frazzled by these guys. You want to hear that? Yes. All right, here it is, Tradio. This is uh, Sal and Richard again. <laughs> Hassling. But it's not that same guy. But this guy's, you know, he's pretty, like, announcer-ish, too. Well, good afternoon, and morning. well, good afternoon. Oh, he is, yeah. like... but the other guy has a much more. This guy's close, though. Shit. Yeah. Here, 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 I'll compare the other guy. Wait. Well, hi, folks, and a very <laughs> pleasant uh, Tuesday. Well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good afternoon, and welcome in to Tradio. That is, if you have anything you like to buy, sell, trade, or just... They didn't try to pass off Jew no. teeth again, but, oh. you know, but, but they, listen, you got to come up with new bits here. Simply give away. Let's get to our first caller. Good afternoon. You're caller number one. You're on Tradio. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm fine, sir. How about you? Very, very good. My name is John Bunny, and I have a very... Uh... Jungle Bunny. <laughs> Jungle Bunny. <laughs> Jungle Bunny. My name is Jungle Bunny. Jungle Bunny. <laughs> okay, Nick Goose is on the other line. Jungle Bunny. <laughs> like, that's just not even a name, Jungle Bunny. Jungle Bunny. <laughs> Gold Bunny. Is Goal his middle name? <laughs> yeah. How does John Gold Bunny? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's really like... <laughs> it only works if it's... I mean, if that's like saying, this is ugly Jew. Yeah, right. <laughs> a woman calling in saying, I'm exactly. Liz I mean, it Zards. It's not, it's just it, retarded. You're right. <laughs> this is anti-establishment terrorism. Yeah. <laughs> he just loves those words. He's doing this for his own entertainment. This is John Gal Bunny. This is smelly spick. Because the guy's not going to say John Gal Bunny. <laughs> Mr. John Gold Bunny. Does that smell E? <laughs> this is smell E. Spit. <laughs> All right, let's start the call over again. Here we go. Well, good afternoon, and welcome in to Tradio. That is, if you have anything you'd like to buy, sell, trade, or just simply give away. Let's get to our first caller. Good afternoon. Your caller number one, you're on Tradio. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm fine, sir. How about you? Very, very good. My name is John Gulbani, and I have a very uh, efficient device I inherited from my uncle about 15 years ago. All right, let's hear it. Okay, it's a portable, refuelable, flammable cross. It was once used by the uh, the clan, and you can place it on lawns. Two seven five nine seven three eight. Number to call here on the Tradio. On see that guy doesn't fall for it. No. <laughs> the other guy the was other like, guy wasn't even listening, as you said. Yeah, the he other was... guy was like, I've got genuine Jew teeth from Auschwitz. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. I got a. <laughs> <laughs> I got a suggestion for Dana Strongberry, man. How about Tuesday's Gone by Skinner with that guy's tools? <laughs> well, this guy, this, this guy apparently listens to the callers. Yes. Yeah. So it's not as funny, but the uh, on this. Um, on this uh, uh, Wednesday afternoon. Good you afternoon. You're calling number three. You got flummoxed. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. How about you? I'm doing good, thanks. This is Rusty. Uh, I'm calling to sell a Westinghouse barometer. It measures barometric pressure, precipitation, measures humidity, temperature, also measures cloudiness, <laughs> polar orbiting, uh, it measures the geostationary satellites, measures Doppler radar, it measures high altitude moisture, it measures the frost index, measures typhoon probability. Are you with me there still? I'm, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, measures I'm suicidal. <laughs> measures water vapor. The graphic guy was hanging himself in the corner. Uh, measures the jet streams. Measures clear air turbulence. Okay, sir. Measures uh, the pollen index. Okay, sir. Sir, that's yeah. enough. That's enough. Measures sperm count. <laughs> what's, what's going on? Okay, that's enough. You, you've done. Ah, uh, you, you explained what what this does. Okay. Well, I just want to let you know because this is a high dollar one. I'm selling it for one fifty. Okay. I got it for two hundred, but it also, if your farmer, it measures crop yield. <laughs> measures radioactive aerosols, uh, volcanic gases, 
hydroelectric <laughs> synchronicity. Okay, sir, that's enough. I need, uh, I need your number. And if you're, I'm sorry, just one more thing, real quick. If you're in near the mountains, it measures seismic shock waves. <laughs> okay, and for your car, it measures oil pressure, tire pressure, and if your farmer again it measures. Soil. <laughs> uh, yeah, never before in Tradia since I've been here, I've, I've received calls like that. Okay, uh, good I think in Tradia he's never even received any calls. How about, okay, uh, uh, this is Greasy Wop. <laughs> Hold on. It keeps going because the, now the real fans of Tradio get upset. Turn your on Tradio. Hey, Lotus, Harry Wang. How oh, are you? Yeah. I'm fine, sir. First Harry Wang call. Harry <laughs> Wang. Harry, <laughs> Harry. Hi, this is Harry Wang. Good. Uh, unfortunately, I sold my chicken coop due to the bad economy, and I have a professional breeding kit for my chickens I like to sell. Okay. It's uh, one professional breeding kit. It, it contains two holding vices for the female hens, and it has one straddle for the male cock, uh, which includes a cock ring. And the cock ring is made of stainless steel. It's placed around the cock to hold the cock in place while the female is placed in position for breeding. And the uh, the cock's performance has been proven effective about 90% of the time with the cock ring, and we've been pleased with the cock ring and the way it straddles the female. And we're, we're pleased with the performance performance of that and i want forty five dollars for the cock ring okay uh, we also have a pussy cat that just passed away we're selling her favorite and uh, we're trying to get weird calls today that's what he got to call number pussy cat. all right i just i don't want to have i don't want to sell anything i just want to tell you that my wife and i are standing in agreement with you against these crank calls and <laughs> what we bind on earth is bound in heaven we bind any forces that's trying to come against you and against this radio station today in jesus name well, wow. tell you, yeah, yeah, it's getting like it's turning into a whole thing a war. how about yeah. that that's not a prank call yeah right. <laughs> you said that because uh, they're out today, I tell you. Yeah, they are. Come on. How much for that clan cross? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hold on. Did that work? I appreciate your call, sir. Uh, you have a blessed day. Same to you. Bye bye. Good afternoon. Well, uh, Jesus loses this battle because listen what happens next. You're calling number nine. Uh, we got disconnected. Uh, I was selling the barometer. Yeah. So I forgot to say it measures soil productivity. <laughs> and we are 21, uh, 21 minutes past the hour. We're going to take about a three and a half minute break. We'll be back with more of your phone calls when Tradio returns. <laughs> no callers going on. Tradio. Yeah, Tradio. So it's the continuing saga of the boys and Tradio. Goodbye, Ruby. Toes die. <laughs> uh, anything else, Lisa? Yeah, I wanted to tell you that Howard 100 News has found a man who sells Nazi memorabilia, including actual jewelry made from the gold teeth of Jews. Jews killed in the Holocaust. The man named Ron Peterson says he's not an anti-Semite, but that he's been collecting Third Reich memorabilia for 35 years. Peterson has faced intense scorn for trying to make money off the items and for not simply donating them to a Holocaust museum. Yeah, I mean, why doesn't he call into Tradio? Yeah, and, really. And the, I bet you'd get cut off. What did, what did the guy think he wouldn't meet some negative uh, yeah, yeah, feelings yeah, yeah. there? I mean. yeah, yeah, there's other things to collect, like wow. Batman figures. Think of the sheer tragedy of that. By the way, later in the day, I think Howard TV has tape of uh, Lisa, who was at an award show many years ago with Dr. Dre and Ed Lover. Mm -hmm. And I guess they're presenting an award, and they break into a rap, and then Lisa is part of their team, like, I guess... Dances. Oh, you dance with Ed Lover and Doctor Dre. So I can't wait. It's to a see long that. time ago. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. It was on radio. Oh, yeah. You should do a job on radio. You know, it reminds me of terrestrial radio. We asked, we had to always give out the phone number to call in, like yeah. those radio guys do. I don't miss that.